It was the year 1936. Mekam was an old town, but it was a tired old town when I first knew it. In rainy weather, the streets turned to red slop. Somehow, it was hotter than a black dog suffered on a summer day. Men stiff collar wilted by nine in the morning. Ladies bathed before noon after their three o'clock nap and by nightfall were like soft tea cakes with frothing of sweat and sweet talcums. People moved slowly then. Everyone besides one man named Boo Ratley. We only heard rumors and stories about him. It was as if he was a monster. One story was that he was cutting up a newspaper and his father came by and he stabbed him in the leg. And then he wiped it off on his pants and resumed cutting. When I looked at Attica's face, he seemed as if he was put on all this pressure. Just like when he got signed for the Tom Robinson's case. It was like a life or death situation. Miss Marty, why can't you just pull it up? Why one spring of nut grass will ruin a whole yard? She said, look here. When it comes to fall, this dries up and wind blows on all over Maycub County. It was as if it was symbolizing her belief that racism must be eliminated by the roots. They thought that you believed Tom Robinson's story in iron. You know what I said? Said you wrong, man. You dead wrong. Mr. Finch ain't taking this story against Iron. I got something to say. And then I ain't gonna say no more. Is this the land of great doom? Most certainly is. Well, tell us what we can do. What is your verdict? It was then that I realized that he had no chance winning the case from the beginning. It was only then did my father say that Tom Robinson had died in the shop. Bobby Law was angry about the outcome of the case and no one taking his side. That's why he attacked his kids because Imagine. he, Atticus, attacked his kid. Tell us what happened. Yeah. Then I heard someone panting and coughing. Then I saw someone carrying Jim. Oh, there he is, Mr. Tate. Hey, Boo.